the thing I've been talking about for at least a year here, if not more, is that the 27th Street Corridor Committee reports to the Economic Development Commission. The Economic Development Commission does not report to the mayor. It reports to the Common Council. And what I've been saying for well over a year is that in the case that the economy would pick up and got back to where you were, that I may have to call special meetings of the Common Council daily. And I just don't feel that I have, have my arms wrapped around this because the true reporting relationship is to the EDC. Now, that's okay, too, because I think something else that, that did come up tonight and goes to the appointments, I probably should have thought of this a long time ago, given that the EDC is a direct report to the Common Council, I'd be more than happy if each alderman, like they do with the Board of Review, made their recommendations for appointments to the EDC. Or the Franklin, what is it, to the Franklin Committee? Franklin, forward Franklin Economic Development Committee. So I'm fine with that. Uh, you, do, uh, you do make appointments, uh, recommendations for board review. I think uh, your recommendations are terrific. Um, that's if you want to keep the, um, the Economic Development Commission in, in place. Um, this is not a new subject at all. You might remember that Mayor Bolander joined us, I don't know, it seems like a year, year and a half ago or longer. And we talked about joint CDAs. We talked about the creation of a separate entity for the management of 27th Street. Um, in the city of Oak Creek, which I hear about all the time with their economic development boom, uh, that's all under the CDA. They don't have any EDC. Now, I think some of the confusion you hear from what I'm hearing from the alderman, the responses, is that there's a real negative feeling about the council not being involved or that the CDA would be a separate authority on all issues. I don't think it has to be that way. I think that for the business part, you have, uh, it's totally under the CDA. But I, I believe in, in um, Oak Creek, the CDA also has a function of reporting directly back to the common council. So if the, if, the, if the issue is lack of control, all you need to do is determine those times when there's like the light determinations of the building or the business part, et cetera, et cetera, we have that totally under the CDA. And for all other <laughs> items, uh, call it economic development, it would be a direct report back to the common council. Um, I am hearing that there are, uh, I, don't, I don't hear consensus actually on either proposal. Um, I think there, I think there's, they're really uh, well thought out, both of them. Um, but um, we got to, uh, we, we do have to come to some conclusions as to how we're going to do business here. Not personalities, not emotion, not he did this and she did that. It's how are we going to do the business of economic development? And, um, you know, one of the things that we found out with the 27th Street Corridor Committee, it was kind of put together in a handshake manner. A couple of mayors got together, a couple of members of the Oak Creek CDA and some of the members from EDC and CDA and it was sort of like can we work together and then who's in charge and who isn't and uh, it's all over the board. I mean, it's, uh, and that's not a good thing when you're dealing with six miles of corridor and potentially spending tens of millions of dollars along that corridor. I mean, right now, you as the Common Council are going to have to make all of those decisions regarding uh, 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 streetscape, so whether there should be roundabouts, no roundabouts, um, should you have the businesses involved? I personally think you should. But uh, do you have the time to, to be here around the clock to what's the thing if it uh, takes off again? I don't think you do. I, uh, and it's really not under my jurisdiction. It's under yours. So that's, you know, I guess the bottom line with me is it, it seems to work in Oak Creek very, very well. I think their tax base is like 60 40. And it's all under the CDA. And everybody gets along. If the aldermen wish to make their appointments, fine. I'll work with whoever you get. That'd be great. You do a great job with, with the board of review. I have no, I have no pride of, uh, of bringing names forward for the Economic Development Commission. But um, I think you got to, we've, we've been talking about this for a long, long time. And uh, uh, you know, Joe is out there. I guess I just found out that Joe is the ad hoc chairman. It's a, kind of a good thing. Uh, Joe the elected chairman. Elected chairman. Quite sure. Yeah. And, and Joe is a very, very bright guy. I know that. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I think I made a pretty good appointment. Though, so, but. I think Fred Mm -hmm. well, I thought that uh, I've made uh, reappointed. I did. Yes, we did. And, uh, um, all right. So um, with that, I I think maybe uh, I'll leave it up to Alderman Taylor. But I think that there are some very good suggestions that have been made to your proposal. And I think that some of the things that uh, Alderman Schmidt brought up um, have have uh, relevance. The the thing with the the uh, Ridley County Terminal. Uh, that was taken over by CCOM for the most part. Now, I think at one time, the EDC used to handle all of that. 
that true? In the business Just for the business part. Okay, so then it's never really handled ribbon cuttings and all that. But I do think that's very, very important. And sometimes I don't get notifications from CTUB as to when they're putting on ribbon cutting ceremony. So with that, I, I think that uh, maybe a little bit more time um, is needed. I don't, I don't say six months, but uh, something less than that, uh, even sooner. Uh, I'm hoping the economy is going to turn around. Um, and if it does, uh, this is going to be very, very difficult to manage. One last thing is we did have an economic development director that we paid well over seventy or eighty thousand dollars a year, right? And then prior to that, we had a person, uh, Stan Kismonica, who CDA uh, picked up half the tab and the city picked up half the tab. Well, we don't have that, so right now it's the current staff that's handling the all these issues that used to be handled by a person making eighty or ninety thousand dollars a year. With that, our relationship is formed. Alderman Taylor. Um, right, Your Honor. I guess uh, one thing I want to address, Alderman Wilhelm, she did a good job of uh, kind of going back and forth between uh, both proposals. The one issue that I, I do have an issue with is that you've said a couple times this evening, cutting out the common council. I don't understand that. I really don't. Because every single CD is open to the public, open to us. And when you have closed door at CDA, you were included. All the was included on the front. He was within the closed door. So there's, there's not like there's closed door meetings. They're going to be publicly noticed like anything else. I don't believe that any alderman is going to be left out. Then you got to take a look at, okay, who, who's kind of the chair? The mayor. Alderman Salmon, do you have any problems getting in touch with the mayor and, and asking him to put something forward or you have a concern or that? I have it in, in three years. And so it's not like we have this person sitting on, in an ivory tower um, removed from everyone else that I don't want to get a hold of. He has a cell phone and he answers. Um, maybe sometimes he's busy in a meeting and uh, gets back to later that day, but he, you know, he's not on call 24-7. So I don't think that we're ever really going to be cut out. We can, we can know what's going on. I think we have some accountability that we don't have now, recording purposes. Um, and I just, I just go back to the fact that we've been, we have been talking about this a long time. We have seen that the EDC has not really accomplished much lately. We, we went to the meeting, we had members throw up their hands saying, what do we do? So we, I, I just don't believe in, in continuing to beat your head against the wall. So I'm going to make a motion to basically adopt an ordinance, the one that I brought in, with a couple minor changes that I'll call down and uh, mentioned regarding, I think, changing where it's the Community Development Authority, uh, or Paul Wilhelm also, uh, where it said all you know, Community Development Authority to Common Council. I think there was a two locations. Uh, I'm hoping that on item G that you're okay with the fact that the cost review still comes up, nothing changes there, just the fact that all this is a reporting mechanism from that uh, forum committee to the CDA. And, and so that's be my motion, making those changes. If I think we got to do something. I, I think just going back and saying, well, let's give time, it's wasting time. And I don't think we have that time to waste. I think we should focus on marketing. I think we should focus on, we once again talking about incentives, that's what you know, that they want to do. But I really think it was marketing. We need to get retention. Why aren't we talking to businesses, our current businesses, and find out how they're doing, why they're struggling. You know, if they're struggling, what we can do to help. So, you know, ribbon cuttings are great. You know, uh, Chamber of Commerce events, they're fine. You can go to the website for that. Oh, yeah, do check the website. All that stuff posted. We have emails. Anytime there's an event, and sometimes things do go to the mayor, and it's just to him. And I guess he could call up, pick up the phone, Your Honor, maybe next time say, hey, do you mind if the alderman come along too? Is it good? I mean, I don't think you have a problem doing that, do you? No, but uh, many times uh, the calls I get, there's. Uh, it's not an open invitation. No. It's their call, it's their party. I mean, for example, is. Uh, we had a U.S. Cup presentation tonight. I'm the Alderman's district. The only reason I was, I wasn't never invited. None of us were invited. Uh, the only reason I went was because the mayor couldn't go. There's been other Eagle Scout events that, you know, here's a kid that did a hell of a project that should be commended. If you think you want to go and, and, and show someone from the city, then we're not notified. So that stuff does happen. We just got to get away from that. We're trying to cut people out. So my motion is to make those minor changes that Alderman's found, Alderman's found, and I think we get a shot to see what happens. We get some, some fresh blood in there, and, and, and not all fresh. I think Joel would be an outstanding season because Anybody that comes up here spends this kind of time simply these meetings with the passion that he does. And if he says no, I, I'm going to take my choice and go home. That's his choice too. Uh, do you have a motion? That's my motion. Yeah, sir. Is there a second to the motion? Motion fails for a lack of a second. 